Christian recording artist Ryan Stevenson is enjoying newfound success, but he almost gave up on his musical dreams after a series of tragic events. That is, until God opened the door to an amazing new season in his life. Recently, CBN News Today co-anchor Charlene Israel spoke with him about it. Tell us, when did you first dream of becoming a musician? I just remember from the time I was a little boy, um, I learned how to play the drums when I was in the third grade. And, and even all the way back then, I kind of just felt something different in my heart, in my spirit, that I that was something that I always wanted to do. I just couldn't really put my finger on it, didn't know how to quite explain that, but really young age. Praise God. Now, you have a new single called Holding Nothing Back. Real quickly, tell us about that. Yes. Yeah, um, again, Holding Nothing Back is just a really simple, honest, vulnerable prayer um, birthed out of a season of just crazy tragedy. You know, I, I've the last couple of years has been pretty rough for me. Um, I lost my mom to a really nasty battle of bone cancer. And on the heels of that, you know, my wife and I, we went through the miscarriage of our twins. Um, and then I was dropped from my record label and I was dropped from my management team and all at the same, like all this stuff was going down at once. And it just was a point where I felt like I literally couldn't handle one more thing. And it was in that time where I just, I began to almost shake my fist at God and just get angry and embittered with him and just praying a vulnerable, honest prayer and saying, God, where are you? And it was that still small voice that just came at that instant where I was just crying out and just said, you know what, am, am I all that matters to you? You have so much distraction in your life. If everything you have is gone tomorrow when you wake up, am I your Lord and Savior enough for you? And it was then when I just literally began to say those words. I'll never forget it. I was in Houston, Texas, sitting on the bay. And uh, I just began to say, Jesus, I don't want anything coming in between you and me. Um, I'm not holding anything back from you. You can have all of me. You can have my stains, mm. my failures, my my fears, my insecurities. Just just take it. I have to just know that you are good. You you are all I have. And that's where holding nothing back came mm. from, right there. Amen. Now things did turn around. You're now signed to Goatee Records, which is owned by one of my favorite artists, uh, Toby Mac. Yeah. You also co-wrote a song for his latest album. What was that experience like working with him? For me, I, you know, ever since I was little, I grew up on a band called DC Talk, <laughs> um, which was Toby's first band. And being inspired and ignited by DC Talk and their music and growing up on Toby and then, you know, this this last year, we got connected through a mutual friend who happened to be a producer uh, for Toby. And I, I just happened to meet him and we were working on this song and my producer showed it to Toby and he loved it. It's like God just intertwined these rivers at once Thanks, and God. away we went. Thank you so much for joining us and telling us just a portion of your incredible story. And we wish you all the best. God bless you. Thanks for joining us, Ryan Stevenson. Thank you so much.